In this video, I'm gonna walk you through and help you avoid one of the biggest minefields in all of marketing. If you sell online programs or courses or services, you're especially at risk, but this also applies to e-commerce or even local brick and mortar stores. You see, there's a mistake being made right now that's costing business owners and entrepreneurs millions of dollars. And the worst part is it's completely avoidable. And it all comes down to one core marketing fundamental, a foundational principle that once you understand and apply to your business will enable you to make more sales than you've ever made before and do it faster and easier. Oh yeah, and more fun too. So let's get to it. So before we dive into the problem, well, we first need to take a look at what caused all this mess in the first place. Basically, when it comes to marketing and when it comes to offering your goods and services to the marketplace, you essentially have one of two different paths or strategies that you can take. The first is the launch model. This is where you create a ton of hype and a ton of content and messages and ads and videos and all sorts of stuff to overwhelm your audience and your potential buyers with value and with messages and to really build rapport and trust and connection and all of those things. Then, once all that's done, well, you open the cart or you essentially make whatever it is that you're selling available to them. And then, after a predetermined set of time, well, you shut it down and you take it away. It's a fire all of your guns at once strategy that carries with it a ton of potential rewards, but also an equal and possibly even greater amount of risk and uncertainty and stress. After all, with a launch, well, it tends to happen pretty quickly, which means that if things don't go as planned and you're not making the sales that you planned on making, well, there's often very little you can do to correct it. And you're kind of out of luck until you do your next launch. Compound this with the fact that launches tend to be really time intensive and energy intensive and money expensive because you're gonna put a ton of time and energy and money into creating ads and messages and content and videos and all this stuff, all with the hope and the intention of making a huge amount of sales at the end. Sometimes this works, in which case it's incredibly lucrative, very profitable, but sometimes it doesn't. And then, well, All that said, over the last 10 years, I've worked on dozens and dozens of five, six, even seven figure launches. Yes, they're stressful. And yes, they're crazy, but they can also be incredibly rewarding and also incredibly profitable when everything goes right and everything clicks. But it's the crazy and stressful part of doing launches that makes the other side of the spectrum so appealing to so many different business owners and entrepreneurs. That other side of the spectrum from the launch is known as the evergreen model, aptly named after evergreen trees, which tend to stay green year round forever. So just like with an evergreen type of business model or an evergreen marketing campaign, well, your product or your service or your offer, whatever it is that you're promoting is available pretty much for people to come and go as they please. Now, obviously there are some huge advantages to an evergreen marketing campaign or an evergreen business model, namely the reduced stress and reduced chaos and panic of putting all your eggs in one basket and hoping things work like with the traditional launch model. Plus the evergreen model allows you to refine and optimize and continually tweak what may or may not be working as well as you'd like. After all, if people are constantly coming through your program or your services or whatever it is that you're selling, well, you can start to find the areas that you can focus on to improve. Whole lot easier to do this when you're looking at data over a number of different days or weeks, or months, or even years. Then if you run a launch and you open the cart for only three or five or seven days and things either work, or they don't. Anyway, like all things, there are downsides to the evergreen model. And that's really what I wanna talk with you about here today. Now, the reason this is such an important conversation, such an important strategy, and also a potential pitfall or minefield that you need to be aware of, is because more and more people have been switching away from that traditional launch model and towards more of an evergreen business model. This is fine when it's done strategically and when it's done knowing about the risks and the benefits of each of the different models. But the problem the problem is, is that most people are giving up on the launch model because it is indeed kind of crazy, kind of stressful, switching over to that evergreen model and then being just so severely disappointed when things don't work like they used to. Basically, when people, humans, your customers, are given the option to do something right now with a set deadline, like in the traditional launch model, or have the option to put it off and maybe do it later, like they do with the traditional evergreen model, well, probably unsurprisingly, most people will procrastinate and do it later. And in marketing, later, more often than not, 
means never. And never is clearly not good for you, your business, or your potential customers or clients that would genuinely benefit from whatever it is that you're selling and going to help them with. Long story short, if you sell something that someone can just get later, buy later, deal with later, they're going to do it later. Like we've covered, later typically means never. And this explains why so many evergreen type of promotions and offers and programs and courses and things like that that are just always available, well, they tend to have such dismally low conversion rates. So what's the solution? Go back to the old launch model, sacrificing your evenings and weekends and sanity just to make a buck? Or stick with evergreen, content to write out mediocre sales and average results? Well, my friend, the answer you seek is actually closer to the middle. A hybrid approach that combines the power of a launch with the predictability of an evergreen campaign. And it's something that I've been actively working with my clients with over the last 10 years to help install and implement in their businesses. And while the strategy and all the pieces that go into this hybrid type of model are beyond the scope and the time that we have for here in this video, what I can tell you is that we need to bake in scarcity at every stage and at every step of the offer and of the promotion. Scarcity, if you're unfamiliar with the term, is simply the fact that we as people, well, we tend to value things that are scarce or in short supply or have a limited number available. Basically, the harder something is to get or the fewer there are or the less people that have them, the more we want them. And of course, the flip side of this is if something is going to be available today and tomorrow and next week and next month and everybody's got it and it's really not that big a deal, well, We'll just put it off forever. This is why incorporating an element of scarcity into your offer, especially if you're running anything that even closely resembles an evergreen promotion is incredibly important. The mere fact of making something scarce or limited or only available for a short period of time makes people want it more. And that's what you want. We call this a forcing function because it forces your prospects and your potential customers to make a decision and to act. Yes or no, in or out, I want it, or I don't. So the key then is how can you incorporate elements of scarcity into your evergreen offers so they don't end up just looking like another launch where you're back to square one doing launches again. Well, to do this, you have three different tools available. But first, a quick but incredibly important warning. There is nothing more damaging to your brand, your business, and your reputation than fake scarcity. We've all seen this and you know exactly what they look like. It's the countdown timer on a website that automatically resets every time you visit. Or the limited time only sale that's gone on for two years now. Or the only available to the first 10 people who buy and yet every single person you know and everyone they know and everyone that they know knows has got the same deal. The point is whatever method of scarcity you choose, make sure that it's real and legitimate and authentic or don't even bother. All right, so the first option you have to ethically and authentically bake in real scarcity to your offer is the most common, but also the least effective of the three that we're gonna cover, and that is to raise the price after a certain amount of time or after a certain amount of units have been sold. This is low level scarcity, but it's a great place to start and to kind of test the waters, especially if you've never done something like this before. It's kind of a gentle way to nudge people in the right direction and push them off the fence one way or another, either in or out, by letting them know that if they don't act now, well, the price is going to go up. The next option is a little more effective than just raising the price, and that is to remove bonuses. Just like with the price increase, well, you can remove bonuses either after a certain amount of time or after a certain number of spots or seats or widgets or whatever it is that you're selling have been sold. What makes this so effective is that people really, really hate missing out on stuff, especially if the bonus or the incentive or whatever it is that you're adding to the offer, well, is really designed desirable and really relevant. People really want it. And the third, final, most effective, but also most severe scarcity trigger that you can implement is to simply take the offer away completely. Close down the cart, take it away, it's no longer available. Basically, your message to your market and to your potential prospects and customers is, get in now because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to get in later. Now this final approach is a lot closer to the traditional launch model where you have an open cart and a closed cart date where you let people in and you take it away at the end. However, there are tools and strategies you can implement to adjust this and make it fit with an evergreen strategy. A couple tools that I'd recommend if this is something you want to look into, I'm gonna make sure to link up in the description box below this video. The first of which is a tool I use all the time, which is called Deadline Funnel. And what it allows you to do is to put in real, genuine, 
actual ethical and authentic countdown timers that, well, if somebody misses the deadline, it simply is unavailable past that point. The other piece of software I'd recommend checking out is the email service provider that I recommend most. So make sure to check that one out in the description box below. I believe the link I have down there will give you a free trial to the program and allow you to check it out. A quick note on those two tools I'm linking up in the description box below. This is not a sponsored video. I just genuinely like the tools. Of course, for those tools to work and just like everything else that I shared with you in this video, well, it needs to be built on solid marketing principles and foundational marketing tactics. And that's why the next thing you're gonna wanna do is check out the video I have linked up right here on Business Marketing Basics. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in the next episode. The next marketing basic you really need to understand, especially if you wanna create effective and profitable marketing campaigns, is a bit of a mouthful, but it's market message media match.